Hello Albany, I'm Dan Platt, and I need to be your next mayor. I'm here at the governor's office because we as Albany residents need to fight for a united Albany in this process. I'm joining the mayor in her call to ask for our fair share. It's time for the governor to put his money where his mouth is. He says he's an immigrant, he says he's for refugees. Well, Albany has taken in thousands of immigrants and refugees. Why is it fault on Albany residents to pay for the immigrants and residents for ensuring their human rights. Human rights are a collective responsibility. Our current mayor, Kathy Sheehan's call to action is late, but extremely welcome. It is something we should be doing years ago because this is a problem that has been with us for a very long time. To challenge the narrative of austerity that we need to do more with less. The governor says we do more with less, and then the mayors need to say we need to do but you can't. Basically, trickle down pain. That's what austerity is. So, uh, there are two areas we can move into when it comes to the crisis that Albany is facing with our budget. There's the short term internal things we can do, like freezing overtime pay and freezing administrative raises and so on. But there's also the long term solutions we need to look at the actual structural changes. One systematic thing to do is to question the tax system that we have passed down to us through generations and generations, hundreds of years. We tax property because we assume that everyone who owns property is a landlord. And that is not the case, especially in society where we actually want everyone to be homeowners in some way. That means we should move to a tax system based on incomes, land value. And eventually, because of the situation we have between the state workers and other workers community in Albany, taxing commuters. If governor calls for New York to be a sanctuary state, then the mayor and activists call for us to be a sanctuary city, we need to secure the funds to make us a sanctuary for immigrant-owned businesses and to foster an immigrant community along with all of our other